try to score. Would you like that? Uh, you know, I like it. Uh, that shows how much confidence it has in me. Uh, he expects a lot of a lot out of me. Uh, he's always on me at practice, so uh, I'm still trying to get used to his coaching style. Uh, I, I like it. Does he have more confidence in you down there right now than maybe what you have in yourself? Uh, I think he does sometimes. <laughs> sometimes he does. What would you say is the hardest part of uh, playing on this team as far as the competitiveness that you deal with every single day on the court? Oh, you know, the hardest part is, is you got to bring it every single day. Uh, you know, some days you don't feel like going, but, you know, you got Marcus coming at you, Alex coming at you, and Isaac, so you, they make you bring your, uh, take your game to a whole other level. So that's, I would say that's the hardest part. When you guys are out there in the blue white scrimmage, is that something that you guys, I guess, talk about off the court too? Is the competition even if, even during a scrimmage? Oh no, we don't talk. We don't really talk about it because we practice against each other all the time. So it's always kind of like another scrimmage for us. So. Are you ready so, to go up against somebody besides Alex and Isaac? Uh, and... Yes, I am. <laughs> they, still, they make me better every day, so I always look forward to playing against them. But you're ready for exhibitions. We're all ready for that. <laughs> yeah, for people who don't know, how would you explain your game? Uh, I'm very skilled uh, offensively. Uh, I run the floor really well. Uh, rebound and block shots, I can do that very well. So. Scal, how much did you know about Charles going into this, and then just how has he kind of impressed you throughout these early uh, I knew about Charles. I knew how good he was. You know, we were, all, we were on the same teams at camps, and I always thought he was really good and he was <coughs> very underrated coming out of high school. So. We got to see a little bit of it tonight. Uh, he's very talented. Uh, he plays really hard. He can be very good defensively. Uh, I think he's really good. Do you sense that you're just scratching the surface? I mean, can you feel that, that you're. Uh, I feel like I'm improving, but there is a lot more that I can do, a lot more I need to work on. Uh, I feel like I, I can get a lot more, a lot better than I am right now. Would you but say you're an eager to please guy? Cal said he basically told you to go block some shots, and you had three after having done. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, do what he, he tells me to do, so uh, that's all. How many moments you've had since you've been here of, oh, I can't do that anymore, I've got to change the uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I think I had a lot. <laughs> um, so. How much does Tyler work to know you big guys, to work with you guys in practice so that he knows in games where you want the ball, where you're going to be? It seems like he always knows exactly where you guys are going to be. Uh, I think... I I'm not sure because Tyler, he's just a leader out there. He just has a great feel for the game. You know, at practice, he knows what every, everybody can and cannot do. So uh, I'm on his team every day, so he knows what I can and cannot do. So uh, he puts me in the best position where I can catch a ball and score. And it's always like a pleasure to play with him. Ten, ten assists at halftime, 15 oh, yeah. for the game. Are we, yeah. Should we expect to see some, oh, some real games my, where he puts my, up numbers like yeah, that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> People talk, you don't pay attention.